Hi everyone, happy Thursday. And we have a very special guinea pig today. This is Kathy and she is incredibly important to me. And actually on day of recording, I'm recording this on a Tuesday and Kathy is <coughs> Thursday's guinea pig. And a year ago today, as in a year ago on Tuesday, <laughs> confusing, isn't it? Was the rescue that Kathy came from. And it was hands down one of the most heartbreaking rescues I've ever taken part in. And say a year ago, Kathy, along with approximately, oh my God, 100 ish females, um, this included babies as well, were left in a very small shed to constantly reproduce. And that is where the 53 boys came from that we rescued earlier on this year. Um, but first we had to get the girls out of that situation because they're the ones that can make more guinea pigs and it, you know, it goes round and round and round and round until you stop that situation. And by stopping that, you have to get the girls out. And the sleep I lost over these girls, even when they came into my care, knowing that they were safe and they never had to worry about anything again was was awful because this was the same rescue that Annabelle came from, who she's already been um, my meet and greet guinea pig. Uh, earlier on in the series and these girls had no life in them whatsoever they had hardly any hair on them because they hadn't got the the nutrition in any food oh, sorry darling in any food um to actually grow hair because they were all pregnant and all their energy was going into reproducing babies and the photos that i got of them on the day that we rescued them honestly it was I've never seen anything like it. It was heartbreaking. And I kept the, the few girls that I took on from that rescue because it was shortly after we moved here. So I didn't have endless amounts of space. So Claire did a big chunk of it. And I took um, some of the more serious girls that needed a, a heck of a lot of TLC and, and Claire took the bulk of, if you know what I mean. Oh, all right, baby, you know, all right. Um, but Kathy is one of those girls. And honestly, when I tell you she is such such a sweetheart and no pig in here deserves to be chunky more than the pigs that came from that rescue because the thought that used to keep me up at night was that i could i could never imagine any of my guinea pigs ever having to worry about when their next meal was coming from and how frightening and awful that 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 would be to to live every day like that and that's the thought that kept me up that they just spent their time scared and, and worried for food and producing endless babies and trying to keep the babies going because they were such good mums you know they should have been terrible mums like oh you know not again but no they were so so attentive to their babies it <sighs> animals could teach us a lot they really could um Kathy has, I don't know whether she's a sister or a, 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 her mother, I honestly don't know, but they look very, very similar. We have Kathy and Aubrey who are very, very similar. The only difference is, is Aubrey has a little mark on her nose, but other than that, they are the same. They have this lovely ginger band around them and they're chunky and she wants to get down because the herd are eating grass. So I'm going to pop you down. Go on, baby. You can't interrupt breakfast time, mum, breakfast time. <laughs> so I know we haven't done a huge amount of rescue work in our time, but what we have done has been, and that rescue I think will stick in my mind forever. And I'm so grateful that the girls are okay and they're all thriving in the herd and that they're doing really well and they're nice and chunky because that's exactly how they deserve to be. So I'll see you again tomorrow for another meet and greet. And Kathy's gone. <laughs>